In this episode of the Christian Home and Family Podcast, I want to talk to you parents about what could be the most vital reason why your family is unable to pass on a generational legacy of faith. This episode of the Christian Home and Family Podcast is brought to you by my novel, Dragon Slayer Beginnings. You can find out more at christianhomeandfamily.com slash dragonslayer. Okay, parents, it's time to get real. Life is too short for us to spend it in the aimless pursuit of status, stuff, or personal satisfaction. There's too much at stake. God has given us one of the most wonderful and most daunting responsibilities that we could ever have and is one that's intended to change the course of history. We're not just living. We're not just raising kids. We are building a foundation of radical Christian faith that can last for generations. You and I are responsible for, before Almighty God for the eternal destiny, not only of ourselves and our immediate families, but also for the generations to come. Just like your grandkids and great-grandkids will be able to trace their blood ancestry through you, they will also be able to trace their spiritual heritage through you as well. Your children's children and their children and their children, though unborn, are depending on you to build the spiritual foundations that will enable them to know Christ personally, to live their lives by the power of His Spirit, and to lead their families into an authentic, radical faith that endures. Imagine generation after generation of your family knowing, living, and passing on the powerful legacy of genuine Christian faith. Imagine the impact they could have on the world. Imagine the day when your life is over and you stand in the presence of God. What it would be like to realize on that day that hundreds, even thousands of years of your descendants have walked faithfully in the ways of the Savior because of your radical faith in Christ that you began years before. I'm here to tell you that's not an impossible dream. If you will do one thing, make sure that your life is one of deep relationship with Jesus Christ today. Then do the same thing tomorrow and the day after that. Don't let a day pass when you're not pursuing your relationship with Jesus more than you did the day before. Commit yourself to knowing Jesus as deeply and powerfully as you can so that His life becomes manifested through yours. The results of that kind of daily faithfulness will be a ripple of radical Christian faith that transforms the generations of your family. It starts small in the changes that Christ makes in you personally, and that word begins to spill over into your marriage, bringing about changes you never thought possible. And as your children witness the transforming power of Christ in you and in your marriage, they'll be irresistibly drawn to the radical faith that makes that kind of transformation possible. As they come to faith in Christ, the ripple will continue as you teach and model what it looks like to walk with Jesus day by day, to depend on Jesus for every need, to humble yourself under His leadership, and to make every decision and take every step with the aim to bring Him glory and honor. Your kids will see His peace and power and blessing that are yours because of your radical faith, and they'll see it multiplied in your family. They'll begin to experience the fruit of it in their own lives until finally they leave your home filled with the fruit of a family that experienced the reality of Christ day after day. They will be determined to see the fruit of that radical faith expressed in their own lives. As wonderful as that dream is, it's much too small. There are generations and generations still to come. Your descendants will be affected by the radical faith you begin nurturing now. Jesus likened it to a tiny seed that grows until it becomes a mighty tree. And I'm telling you that what may seem like to a tiny seed of faith in your heart right now can grow in the power of God's Spirit into a mighty family tree that demonstrates God's transforming power. All that begins with you, parents, today, right now. It begins with your commitment to pursue Jesus with all that you are. You have to be the authentic, growing, humble Christian example your children need to see before they'll believe that Jesus is real and that He's able to transform and use even the weakest and most humble person. So where do you start? The best place to start is on your knees. Stop everything and turn to Jesus in complete dependence. 
Rid yourself of every attempt to be strong in yourself and ask Him to fill you with His desires for you and your family. Affirm your desire to pursue Him in everything. Ask Him to help you, to transform you, to give you the strength you need to chase after Him for the rest of your life. Next, talk with your family about what's happened in your heart. Begin to paint the vision of what Jesus can do in the generations of your family. Tell them that you're going first. You're taking the lead to let Jesus make you into all you need to be so that you can lead the family into the place of greatest blessing. Ask them to pray for you, to encourage you, and to hold you accountable. Next, connect with others who are committed to the same glorious goal. Ideally, that would be in your local church. But if you can't find people there, look further. I've created an online community for that purpose. If you'd like to find out more, click the link shown in the video or go to christianhomeandfamily.com slash community to find out more. Finally, establish daily habits to fuel your fire. You need daily time with Jesus. Galatians 2.20 tells us He is our life. To help you get started, I've created many resources to help you grow in your relationship with Jesus. And every single one of them has a free version so that nothing stands in the way of you getting started. You can find those resources by clicking the link in the video or by going to christianhomeandfamily.com slash store. Moms and dads, it's time to get real. There's too much at stake for you and I to waste another precious minute of life. The generational faithfulness of your family depends on the work God does in your life starting today. What are you going to do? It's my prayer that you will take this responsibility seriously and begin nurturing a radical Christian faith of your own for the sake of seeing radical faith for generations in your family. The ministry of Christian Home and Family is all about radical faith for generations. I would love to help you in any way. If you would like to contact me, please do so at christianhomeandfamily.com contact.